Um, Alan, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, so you just set up a new website called Forensic Jobs, and uh, you're doing it with your brother, is that right? Yes, it is a, uh, a family thing, bizarrely. Um, we've, we've, we sort of had the idea together, really. It was a sort of combination of factors. Um, his direct involvement recently with the forensic community as well as my background with web design and, um, and recruitment and it sort of merged together quite nicely. And obviously, um, you know, you've got, you, you said you've got your background in recruitment there, but this is obviously a very spe specialised area. So um, what kind of jobs are on your website at the moment? In, in essence, it's anything forensic related. Um, the, the, the base of the idea came from it, we, we sort of we spoke to people in and around the community itself and there wasn't, wasn't any sort of direct avenue to sort of apply for roles that didn't involve long-winded processes of going through agencies or things like that. Um, and we had, to use Steve's words, we had the capabilities, we had the connections and it was, well, let's, well, let's create something that the community can use. Um, so that was, that's how it came about really. And I mean, obviously, you know, with, you've got a bit, a bit different background, Steve, there. Um, what do you find most interesting coming from a completely, like, different background about this, uh, the new website? Personally, um, I've, uh, again, from, from the recruitment side of my background, I've long disliked the, the involvement of expensive sort of advertising platforms or um, recruiters that do put barriers in, in the way of people. So if, if you were to apply for a role, um, it, it may be held up by the recruiters because they've got somebody better for that role in their mind uh, or a whole host of reasons that, that just aren't applicable. And in essence, it, it, it's about connecting people really rather than sort of holding people through a system and a process. Um, and we, we, I found that through sector after sector. I mean, I've worked in healthcare, in legal. The same principle applies. Um, and when we sort of came across this, it was, it was you know, ripe, <laughs> if you like. Um, and especially because we are now looking more towards the global aspect of it, um, that is really showing itself as well. I mean, obviously, um, you know, you're not just doing recruitment. There's a whole support network around it too. And uh, if people wanted to come onto your site, you know, are they looking to have to pay to get on there and have a subscription fee, or how does it work? Um, as it stands, well, I say as it stands, it will never be uh, a paid platform for um, candidates to find jobs it, it, they will never I, I don't know any site that will be successful that would operate in that way um so that will always be free for candidates of student through to ceo level it just it, that won't happen um with regards to the companies that are posting the jobs the products services which we've opened up um at the moment, again, that's free. Um, I think when we when we started it, it really was a, a com almost a community project of let's ensure that everybody can see everything they need to before they go ahead. So, you know, somebody's looking for a job, they can see all the available prospects that are there. Um, and similarly, if, if somebody's looking for um, things like cleaning forensic cleaning services for in, basically forensic anything they can look and see that online um without any sort of hard sales if you like they can they can view it at their own leisure and it's it was it was it basically created a platform where people can view that without any pressure um and uh, you know obviously if people did want to then like maybe put on their jobs or um people want to come and have a look what you've got on offer how can they do that so with regards to anything from jobs to submitting university details to their services, essentially anything within that sort of the umbrella of forensics, all they need to do is visit the site. Um, regarding jobs, there, there's a simple post a job button on the top, top corner. Uh, they simply click that 
uh, that takes them through and all they need to do is include their details and job details and then they go through to the uh, the checkout page which at this, at this time um, will give them the option to check out with a free package um, ultimately that will potentially change um, purely to <laughs> at the moment anyway to cover costs and things like that but um, they, at the moment it will be free we are we are down that road um, but with regards to services and things like that they just simply need to upload their details to us and we're going to put it online for them we do a lot of the legwork for them so it's you know it's we are genuinely here to connect the forensic community um in such a way that some people might argue that we should already be charging for what we're doing um but as it, at, at this moment we're, especially what's going on as well there's a lot of companies under pressure and there's, there's this that and the other these are factors that just you know nobody can foresee so this is, I mean, this is why we've extended the free period with regards to jobs. I mean, that's as it stands now, not going to come to a close anytime soon. But with everything else, we are just genuinely there to try and sort of go if you need a cleaning service, forensic cleaning service, come to us, go there. That's what it is. And the same with jobs, university courses, anything. It's about using this as the point of sort of recognition of that sector. And I mean, it sounds like something that it surprises me that hasn't been around before, really, because it does make sense rather than waiting for you know, jobs to come up. You know, when I was uh, trying to get my first like CSI job, it was just waiting for the forces to put them up. But one thing that you know, I think most people would are um, interested in isn't just about getting the jobs. It's also about maybe learning from people who've already got the jobs or new techniques on or new instruments that are out there is that something that's also going to be included on your website yes i mean to be quite honest forensic jobs obviously by the nature of the name itself uh, started as a job board um what that has quickly grown to um, and not necessarily by myself or um steve and sort of driving it is other people is linking to research to products to pet services to this that other. um people want to know what's going on generally um and as you say there is nothing there centrally certainly that that deals with that um and it does fill fill a gap in that respect quite well um again as things sort of move forward at the moment you know it's a bit of a free for all to be honest you know if you're forensic if, you, if your business is forensic related or your anything is forensic related you can get that on with us and get it to the community i mean it's but it, it has grown and it will keep um i mean almost daily steve messaged me the new ideas of what could what could we do this could we do that um and it's, and it's not just him saying that there's people requesting these things um so yeah sounds like it's just going to get bigger and bigger and better really um so obviously the website is forensic-jobs.com and if they did want to get in touch with you um what are some ways that they can well uh linkedin and facebook are very active as is our twitter um that is driven by steve um they can of course contact us through that um, they can get in touch with us via email uh, which is contact at forensic-jobs.com um, and myself Steve or one of the other chaps involved will get back to them in relation to their inquiry I mean to be quite honest we've had inquiries in, from people all over the world yeah we're looking for jobs here 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 um, we haven't got anything but this is where to go um we're happy to provide that level of sort of advisement as well we're, we this is where we really differ from a a normal job board and b a recruitment company where we don't get fees from referring people on we don't generate revenue in that way we generate revenue by networking ultimately and again at the moment he's free but that's the ultimate plan but we are we are trying to connect people we are students to ceo 
that's a uh, we want people coming in at university graduate level and working with us until they're you know in charge of big budgets <laughs> in the day um but yeah I mean, obviously, that would be great if they kept coming back and kept referring, and the, and the circle continues. That'd be perfect. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's the circle. Uh, yeah, absolutely, that I mean, that would be that would be. But that's where we are. You know, we, we've not built this to be a sort of a one-trick pony. Um, it, again, it started out in that way, um, but it's moved on to news, research, new products. So you know, and and that will keep on expanding as well. Um, so yeah. Well, I look forward to keeping updated with it. Well, thank you so much, Alan, for coming to join me on this lovely Sunday. Appreciate it. And again, apologise all those people who couldn't watch it live, but we'll definitely be putting it on later. And it's forensic-jobs.com.